What's up, guys? Twally. Today, we're going to be doing some battles with the Double Guard Dog team with Okie Dogie and Mabostef. So even though I have seen Okie Dogie up on the ladder a bit, Mabostef has really been nowhere to be found. And rightfully so, too, I understand, doesn't necessarily have eye-popping stats. I mean, the 120 attack stat really isn't that bad, and when you have Guard Dog as your ability, that could be improved if you end up going out there against an Intimidate user. And that's part of the reason why I both these guys on the team here. I mean, I think Guard Dog is actually a really cool ability, uh, despite the fact that it's not as good as Defiant or Competitive or anything like that, because you're not going to be getting the attack boost, or in the case of, like, Competitive, the special attack boost if you end up having a lowered stat in like any of your stats. However, being able to boost that attack stat if you do end up seeing an Intimidate Pokemon is actually really nice, especially with Incineroar out there a lot. And I know back when like Okie Dogie was really kind of introduced, it was like the Theory and Landorus. So again, a lot of Intimidate users out there, which is why that Guard Dog on both Okie Dogie and Mabostiff are going to be really great. Now, Okie Dogie does have a bit of bulk, especially because of that Assault Vest, and it does have great stab boosts with Poison Jab and Drain Punch. And if you end up terrestrializing into dark as a way to kind of counter Psy Spam, you can end up going with the knockoff as well, and that's going to be a stab move too. Now that Ice Punch is going to be great if you end up seeing some kind of Landorus or a Dragonite or uh, another Pokemon that has like two typings that are weak to ice because that is a 4x weakness and some people might not think that Okie Dogie has Ice Punch. So you can kind of surprise them with that and you don't have them end up terrestrializing away from that weakness and you'll end up kind of surprising them and being able to potentially knock them out in one hit. Now the boss stuff is great too because it does have crunch uh, as it's only stab move, it is only a monotype, so it is just dark. However, if we end up terrestrializing into fairy, play rough will end up becoming a stab move as well. And then we also have psychic fangs. And the reason for psychic fangs is because if we end up going out against something like Aurora Veil or any kind of screen, we can end up going with the psychic fangs. We're going to end up taking the screens away and everyone can just kind of attack like normal, essentially. Now, it does have protect as well, just in case. And it does have safety goggles. That way, we can't really be put to sleep. Uh, by like a Moongus, or we're not going to be um, paying attention essentially to like any kind of powder move. So that's going to be extremely nice. And since Mabostiff does again have the Psychic Fangs, that can be really good into something like a Moongus as well. So I'm really excited to actually use these two together. I never thought I'd say this, but I really hope that I actually see a couple Intimidates here because I really want both these guard dogs to really kind of proc on their own and see if we can actually do some really good damage with both these guys. So we'll get into the battles, but before we do, as always, if you guys are new here, just tap and chat, please make sure to go down and hit the subscribe button. If you guys do enjoy the video, please make sure to drop a like too. But let's get into the battles. Well, I think someone forgot to put a Pokemon on the team. Let me just make sure. Yeah, we are in ranked battles. All right, I just wanted to make sure. You never know. Um, however, they do end up having a... Uh, um, couple things that could be pretty detrimental to our team. Uh, I don't think Ogre Pond's going to make it to this game, apparently. Uh, but here's what we're going to end up doing. Um, honestly, let's go Tornadus and let's end up going... Um, mm, yeah. Yeah, I think we're also going to end up going with... Uh, uh, Okie dogie first as well. In the back, we'll have Mabostiff, and let's end up bringing... I mean, in all honesty, Chiyu really is going to be probably the best one to bring here, especially against all five of those Pokemon. Um, and even though it's not like we have something that's going to be super effective over on uh, Iron Bundle, it's still not the best special defender. So, no matter what we go with over there, as long as it's strong, should be able to knock it out. And as long as it's, like, neutral. But we'll see. If they go double grass to start, that's fair. Grassy Surge. Okay, now I think it is important to put the Tailwind up. So I think we're going to have to do that. Let's go for the Poison Jab over there. We're probably going to get faked out here. I'm okay with that. But, um... But yeah, I mean, realistically, especially if they Terrastalize into grass here... They're going to end up getting that plus one to speed, and then they would be able to outspeeding us, and who knows what they would have been able to do to knock out something like Torn if we ended up going for the Bleak Wind. So we'll see. Let's see what ends up happening here. Again, unfortunate that they don't have any uh, Intimidate users. Um, I can't believe I'm saying that, too, but, you know, again, having two Pokemon here that, uh, that have Guard Dog, I, I was hoping I was going to see a bit more. Oof, rough. 
Poison Jab, good stuff. No poison. And the Grass Ivy Cudgel. Tornadus hangs in there. Let's go. Some good luck right there. So, let's go for... And we just go down to a uh, Grassy Glide here. Um, and in all honesty, I... Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's bring in Chi Yu. We kind of know what they're going to end up going with here. Uh, let's do that and let's go for the Poison Jab over there again. Now, if we had a Mon with, uh, Rocky Helmet, that would be a great one to swap in right here. Because you'd end up having them go with a Grassy Glide into it and they would take that 1-8 damage. 1-8 max HP damage. So this is going to be that, uh, that Grass Terra. Getting that plus one here. Understandable. Question is, do they have Stomping Tantrum? And even if they did, I think we survive it anyways. Wow, that still did a lot. My ongoing U-turn! Okay. I mean, good thing is we still knock out, um... Still knock out Rillaboom. Which, honestly, is going to be a, a big help here. A real big help here. Cool. Honestly, that works for me. Doesn't look like they have a booster. So that's, uh, that's positive, too. Now, who do they bring in next? Either way, we have Tailwind, and we also have a Choice Scarf over on Chi Yu, so that's going to be a big help. Now, are they going to bring back out Ogre Pond, or are they going to bring out uh, their fourth Mon? Which is probably going to be... Pow? I would imagine? That's just speculation, though. That's just speculation. Could also be uh, Glaceon, but... We know it's not another Pokemon, because those are the only two that it could possibly be. Um, yep, there's Pawn again. Hmm. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna go with the Heat Wave here. And let's go with the Drain Punch over there as well. I would imagine that they may be Sash then. Because if it's not, uh... Yeah, if it's not booster energy, I would imagine that could really only be, um, Sash. That's unfortunate. Not a big deal, though. Actually, that's kind of a lie. It is kind of a, a big deal, but that'll be alright, though. Still feel confident. So we have Mabostiff in the back. Oh, we still have Tailwind for... Yeah, we have it for one more. Let's go. Um, I really I should go Drain Punch again. That would probably be the smartest thing to go with. So let's go for it. You gonna go for a double Spiky Shield? Huh? Because they, it would be close in terms of uh, uh, speed with the Scarf, Chi Yu, and the plus one Ogre Pond. That makes sense. Yeah, it is, pal. I get it. Can't blame you either. Oh, good stuff. And yeah, that was the Scarf, or the uh, Focus Sash. Nice. Nice. And we'll knock them out. Beautiful. Uh, nice. I think we're kind of golden here. Um, I'm going to probably swap into Mabostiff here. Just... Just because. Because I can. And I feel safe enough where I don't think Ogre Pond's going to be able to KO Okidogi in one. Um, 
Chi Yu obviously uh, is going to be fine when it comes back in. So let's bring back out the boss diff and let's go for that poison jab. And the battle is canceled. Unfortunately, we couldn't get uh, Mabostiff out there because Okie Doki definitely ran that one right there. Um, but, hey, you know what? We'll get it out there on the next one. Hopefully in the next one, we'll actually see an Intimidate Mon. But either way, still won this one. Good game. It looks like we're staring down a little bit of Trick Room here. Um, although they do have a couple Mons that would definitely work outside of Trick Room, obviously. Like Fluttermane, uh, Urshifu, and even Ogre Pond as well. But... Uh, you know, so let's see. I, I think what we're going to end up doing is we're going to start with Chi Yu, and we're also going to end up bringing. Hmm. In all honesty, I, I think it's got to have to be. Um, yeah, it's going to have to be um, Okie Dogi. And in the back, we'll bring him a Bostiff. And I think the last one's going to have to be Ogre Pond as well. Mainly because, especially if that is a. Rapid Strike Urshifu. Granted, it probably is not, to be honest with you. But if it is, Ogre Palm would be great against it. And, um... And, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that works for me. Tornadus would be fun, don't get me wrong, but I do not want to sit here and miss three Bleak Winds in a row. So... Um, let's go with these four. Again, our question is, are we going to end up seeing, like, Fluttermane Urshifu to begin? Or are we going to end up seeing their potential, uh, Trick Room with, like, um, Farigarath? Oh, now, in all honesty, that is an interesting combo. Not one I would expect to see. Um... Especially with the sun coming out, too. Um... Ah, my goodness. Yeah, again, look, Snarl would be great because Torkoal would lower or go to minus one with a special attack. And also, um, it would be a neutral hit and all that kind of good stuff. But the sun's out, man. How can you pass up a heat wave? I'm not going to, but chances are they are going to either Terrastalize over there or they're going to uh, go with a spiky shield. I'll risk it. Let's go with that over there. Let's go! No Terra either! Beautiful. We're gonna take the Cudgel, but it ain't gonna do that much. Okay, well, never mind. Well, we end up losing him on this one. Uh, nice crit. Nice crit. Um, but now, thankfully, an Eruption won't do too much. And actually, you know what? Despite the fact that, yeah, they just used Earth Power and a KO Chiyu, that was probably best case scenario for us, in all honesty. Um, let's go out with Mabossif on this one. Um, but yeah, I only say best case scenario because, really, realistically, you know, they could have went with a Heat Wave, they could have went with an Eruption, even though Eruption would have only been half power, that would have done so much still because... Hell, that would have went to Okie Dogie too, but now Okie Dogie's sitting pretty over there. And uh, not too worried about it now. Well, let's see, here's what we're going to have to do. Um, hate to ignore Torkoal here. Um, but we're going to end up going with a Crunch. And let's Terastalize into Dark as well. Um, only because if they end up going with like a, a, a Psychic move, Okie Dogie would be done. Yeah, let's do that, and let's go for the Poison Jab, just to cover if they end up terrestrializing into Fairy. That's really going to be the main thing that we're kind of protecting from here. And uh, if they are a Fire one as opposed to Fairy, like I've seen some of them nowadays, um, at least we'll have two neutral hits over there. And hopefully we'll be we'll be better off. Can we get a minus one to, our, to their defense too? You bet we do, now we definitely KO for sure. Um, even though they have a Citrus Berry. Yeah, Citrus Berry, just wanted to make sure it wasn't Pinch. The Poison Jab should do it. And it sure does. Thank you very much. 
on that crunch right there. That minus one, again, to the defense definitely made a big difference. Earth power, we now end up bringing that to neutral. That is no longer a, oh, a weak, weak move. But unfortunately, we do go to minus one on our special defense there. There's Ursa Luna. Not the one that we necessarily wanted to see, but the one that we ended up getting. Let's protect with Mabostiff here. And let's go with the Drain Punch. I'm assuming this is going to be a normal Terra. Yes. It is. Okay, good. We're going to be able to outspeed them. We'll get a Drain Punch. We'll bring them down to probably about half, to be all, to be honest with you. And, uh... Oof. Yeah. Sorry. Again, we should end up going first here. Good damage. Yeah, bring them down to half. Perfect. Um, now, there's no way we survived this one. Even with just a Hyper Voice... We're minus one in our special defense, and they went helping hand with a 2x Terra. And if that's Life Orb, that's going to do more. If it's Throat Spray, it's going to be bad for us. Let's see, do they take Life Orb damage, or do they take the Hyper, uh, or the uh, Throat Spray? Thank you for answering my question. Um, yeah, and unfortunately, the sun is still up. But I think we're going to be good here, though. Uh, we can end up going with the Crunch again. I kind of want to double into Ursaloon, if I'm being honest with you. But I am also a little worried about, like, a Heat Wave or something. In all honesty, I think it's going to be the smartest move, though. Yeah. If we're able to knock them both out right now, then we're in a good spot. Nice. Cool. Or knock them out. We'd be in a good spot. Nice crit on that one. But the crunch will end up finishing it up. That double crit. Holy cow. Um, didn't necessarily need them. I think that we probably would have picked it up with both of them anyways. But um, still never going to turn down a crit. Always happy about that. So let's go. Let's finish this off with a crunch. And uh, in fact, honestly, what we should be doing... Probably dumb, I know, but we're, let's protect. Let's spiky shield. Let's get the sun out of here. And let's go with a full strength Ivy Cudgel and a uh, Crunch. And just in case they would end up surviving both of those moves, if the sun was up, we don't want to take a heat wave. And that would have been really bad. But now with the sun gone, that heat wave isn't going to be as strong. And our Ivy Cudgel is going to be back to uh, normal damage output. So there we go. Goodbye, sun. That would have been funny if that was, uh, what's it called? Heat Rock? Heat Rock, is that what it's called? Uh, the one that ends up uh, making the uh, sun stay out there a little longer. Either way, though, let's go. Torkoal is now gone. Thankfully, we were able to take out Ursa Luna before he's able to go with one more Hyper Voice or potentially a Blood Moon. And we walk out of there with a victory with our two guard dogs. Oh, man, some Blastoise action here. Let's go. That actually kind of makes me happy. I, I love Blastoise. But, unfortunately, we don't see another Intimidate user. Um, which, in all honesty, does kind of suck. Because, again, I really wanted to use the Guard Dog here. But, either way, though, I still think that both of them could actually do some pretty good stuff in this battle as well. Um, question is... Hmm... How do we want to play this? All right, here's what I think we have to do. We're going to start with Chi Yu as well as... I think we're going to go Okie Dogie too. Let's go with those two. And then in the back, let's bring the boss diff, of course. The boss. And... I mean, I hate to say it. But I think it's got to be Rilla. Um, we'll be able to change terrain. We could always Terrastalize into fire. That way we can avoid Ogre Pond a little bit. Um, and we can end up resisting both of its moves. Um, hmm. 
And then, of course, we do have high horsepower. Or, yeah, high horsepower, too. Um, but it is going to be kind of a Terra Hog here. Okay. So the good thing here is at least we know that they're not going to be able to uh, fake out. Because... Psychic Terrain. Okay. Scared me for a second. Not going to lie. There we go. That's fine. That's not great for us, in, in all honesty. Um... That's all right. Here's what we're going to do is we're going to go for the Snarl here. And let's go for the Poison Jab. Yeah, that's good. We'll be able to lower their special attack anyways, too. Snarl will be good for us. Good stuff. We'll get the Poison Jab. The question is, do they go Shell Smash? Oh, it's got one. Oh, yep. There we go. Perfect. Let's go. All right, good. We wasted their uh, uh, their white herb on that, so that's perfect. They do get speedier, which which is unfortunate. Don't get me wrong, but uh, we'll be all right, though. We have the poison jab. We should KO. We will KO, thanks to the poison. Uh, that was kind of scary there, not going to lie. Uh, but that's totally fine. Again, they're now plus one with their special attack because of uh, uh, the Snarl. I would assume they're going to be a special attacker. It's my assumption. But probably should never assume, you know what I mean? That's right, and it's unfortunate because we didn't bring Ogre Pond. Oh, that's really bad, actually. That is really, really bad, actually. Um... So here's what we're going to do. Let's go into Rilla here. And let's go for the Poison Jab over into Comfy. Uh, we need to take them out because that plus three priority to all the healing moves is going to be very paramount in them keeping Blastoise out there. So if we can take away their healing, we have to worry a little less about Blastoise. Plus, we have Fake Out Pressure. And they can't swap the uh, terrain anymore. Yep, there's that Floral Healing. They'll go back up to full... Um, but hopefully we can knock out Comfy here. That much into Rilla? Holy cow! And on Okie Dokie, oh my goodness! Poison! Dang, that would have been nice. Rough. Holy cow. Um, what are we gonna do? What are we going to do? Let's go for the fake out and the Blastoise, and let's go for the uh, poison jab and the Comfy again. Not enough, friend. I'm sorry. I understand why you would do that too. I, I get it. You get the plus three priority on that as well because you do. Um, let's go because you do. Uh, have that as a healing move because the Drain Kiss ends up healing back a little bit of HP. So that's why that ended up going first before the fake out. Um, and why we also didn't fake out into Comfy. So there we go. Downside here is the fact that they will end up having their terrestrialization. So they're probably going to find a way to avoid a, uh, a Grassy Glide. But we're going to try it anyways. We're going to try. Let's try for the Drain Punch over there. Yeah, here comes that. They're gonna go grass? Maybe? No, I don't think they go fire. Oh, it's them. Okay. Okay, now if they protect, that would be huge, in all honesty, with Blastoise. Never mind, excuse me. I shouldn't say things until things actually happen. Um, that's alright, here we go. We got the Drain Punch. Bring them down to half. We'll heal up just a little bit here. And now we both have to deal with a Hyper Voice. And both of us are now going to be gone, unfortunately. Except for Rilla. Did I not learn anything from the last thing I said? Didn't I say to wait a little bit? Eh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Alright, that's fine. There we go. 
Uh, ooh, their Throat Spray, though. So now they're plus one. Uh, that's unfortunate. But, let's bring in the boss. Let's go, boss. Alright, let's see if we can pick up this KO right here. Obviously, we will... No. Let's go for the Wood Hammer. Let's be smart about it. And let's also go for the Crunch, because that is going to be the strongest move that we have. That's understandable, trying to heal up a little bit more. Who ends up going first? I don't know the speed. I'm a boss def. Okay, cool. I was going to see. I, I don't know the difference in the speed, but obviously enough where I'm a boss def was going to go first. Let's go. Beautiful. Heal up just a little bit more on Rilla. Same with our Saluna, but honestly, one wood hammer should end up taking that out. And again, the crunch is going to be a big help right here, too. Good stuff into Ursa Luna. And they're a pretty bulky uh, defender, too. And the minus one in defense. And, of course, that wood hammer definitely was going to KO. So, beautiful. We end up picking up the KO right there. And, man, I, I was a little worried about that after the shell smash and after Comfy coming out. But, honestly, man, these guard dogs are going to keep you safe. Good game. So, even though we really didn't get a chance to activate either of the guard dogs there... Okie Dogi and Mabostiff went out there and definitely did their job. I mean, Okie Dogi has so much bulk because of that Assault Vest. Then you have really strong stab moves like the Poison Jab and the Drain Punch. You end up terastalizing that knockoff as well. And then Ice Punch is great too because if you see something like, you know, Landorus Incarnate or Dragonite or something else that is 4x weak to ice, that's a really good thing to kind of pull out of your back pocket. And then Mabostiff is great too because that Crunch is a really great stab move as well. And you have that chance to get a minus one to their defense as you saw a couple times in those battles. And then if you end up terastalizing too, that uh, Play Rough will end up becoming a stab too. And the Psychic Fangs is another good thing to kind of have in the back pocket as well. It's great against things like Poison types or things that Terrastalize into Poison types. And also, it's nice because if anyone ends up putting up a screen, Aurora Veil or anything like that, Psychic Fangs will end up taking that down too. So again, my boss to Foki Dogi, despite the fact that that Guard Dog didn't get activated, still did a really amazing job and ended up getting us some wins. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the battles. If you guys did, make sure to drop a like. We'll see you guys next time.